And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a spiral graph effect. We simply go new filters, render, and there we've got the spiral GIMP, which is basically a spiral graph generator inbuilt in GIMP. So it's already being rendered on my canvas. The first two sliders are the most important. So if you increase them, you'll get more rounds. And you can change the tool up here. So for example, use a paintbrush or airbrush. But keep in mind some tools aren't rendered properly. I'm going to stick to the preview. So the first two are the gears. If I go down, you can see that way less is rendered. And if I go up, it's going to take a little bit more time. The best way to figure it out is to just try it out and see it rendered in real time. You can also change the gear itself, so from a circle to a rack. But only a few produce results that we can actually use. You can also adjust the size, so make it smaller by going up. I'll stick to zero for this one. There's also an option to change this menu to visual or toolkit. I like to use the gears. I think it's easiest to understand, at least when you have used a spirograph in real life. When you've got what you want, I'm going to render it on a new layer right here. And I confirm it, and now we can see right here. And this is how you can create a spirograph effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.